it is going to be a hot weekend in Portland. Speaking of hot, it's, it's a little warm in here, isn't it, Rachel? <laughs> Jamie, half your eyebrow is missing. Oh no. I'm so sorry, just a second. No. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I'm sorry. For crying out loud, we are live. Phil, switch to Rachel. So, the weather is going to be 87 degrees and mostly dry. The good news is it'll start to cool off in the evening. And cut. That was so embarrassing. I thought I was going to get fired. You know how much they care about folks here. Yeah. What happened anyway? Uh, it's hard to explain. See, most makeup products don't work for me because I have this skin condition called rosacea. That's what all these red spots are all over my face. Everyone thinks it's acne or a sunburn, but in reality... Jamie, I just took a lot of heat for your little mess up back there. So, will you please learn how to do your makeup? Oh, I know how to do my makeup, Ron. The problem is the product. I have this skin condition. You see... I don't care. Just make sure it doesn't happen again, all right? Our girls need to have a certain look. Oh, and by the way, if you go out this weekend, will you please put on some sunscreen? I do not want you to get another sunburn on your face. There's a certain look our girls need to have. Can you believe he said that to me? Did you tell him about your rosacea? I tried to, but he didn't care. He's part of that toxic mainstream thinking that makes every girl feel like they need to meet this perfect, impossible to achieve, photoshopped level of beauty. Like this. What about the imperfect girls with skin problems? Like me. Well, honey, I hate to disagree with you, but even with your red spots and all, I still think you're perfect. That is why I just married you. Thank you, Paolo. But seriously, why can't someone start a makeup company that uses models who look like real girls and makes products for women with real problems? Maybe then I wouldn't have my producer breathing down my neck. Well, here's the thought. What if that someone is you? What do you mean? Well, you always talk about how the makeup on the market doesn't work for you, right? Yeah. Well, imagine how many girls there are out there that feel the same way. So why don't you create your own makeup that markets real women? And makes every girl feel like they're beautiful. Wow, maybe that's it. It Cosmetics. It has a nice ring to it, huh? It does. Jamie, we're 30 minutes to air. Why aren't you ready? Oh, don't worry. It doesn't take me that long to do my makeup. Ah, uh, well, maybe that's the problem. I'm sorry? Well, let me make it clear to you. Maybe if you spent a little bit more time on your makeup, we wouldn't have disasters like we had last week. And by the way, what is going on with your face? Did you get another sunburn? I told you to wear sunscreen. It's not a sunburn, Ron. You see, I- You know what, I don't wanna hear it, okay? What I want you to do is spend more time doing your makeup so that our viewers do not have to look at that. You know, people like you are the reasons why girls don't feel beautiful about themselves. What are you talking about? So what if I have red spots all over my face? And so what if I have half an eyebrow missing on air? People need to see that because that is real. Not a flawless photoshopped face like this. Uh, okay, well, this is the look that we want. People want their news from flawless, beautiful faces, not from people who have a gross skin condition. No. No, 
do not do that. Do not make me out to be the bad guy, all right? This is the world that we live in, Jamie. Well, it's not the world I live in. Not anymore. Not after today. What does that mean? I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. My husband and I are going to start a makeup company that makes every girl feel beautiful. Not like the way you have just made me feel. <laughs> so, you think that anybody is going to buy makeup from somebody who looks like you? Well, good luck. Jamie leaves with more passion than ever to change the way the world looked at beauty. Using the last of their savings, Jamie and Paulo start their own cosmetics brand with the mission of making every girl feel beautiful. Jamie tests dozens of different formulas, trying to find ingredients that are actually healthy and work on every skin type. She spends months and months testing different samples, but no matter how many samples she tries, she always finds something wrong. That is, until one day, she finally figures out the perfect formula. This is it. This is it! Hey, what's it? I found a formula that works. Look, it stays. My eyebrow stays on. Wow, that's amazing, honey. This is so exciting. And good timing too, because we are almost out of money. Okay, so now that we have a product, what's next? We have to get it in stores. I'm going to call all the retailers and tell them how amazing our formula is and send them a few samples. That is brilliant. I am so proud of you, honey. You do think that the retailer is going to want to buy our product, right? They would have to be crazy not to. A couple weeks later, Jamie finds herself about to meet with one of the largest makeup retailers in the world. Jamie, they're ready for you. Okay, thank you. You got this. Good luck, sweetheart. Hello, everyone. I'm Jamie Kern Lima. Hey, hi there. Hi, good to meet you. I am so excited to meet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jamie. Well, I don't have all day. Of course. I'm so sorry. So, this product is our Bye Bye Under Eye. It's a concealer, and I have a feeling your customers are going to love it, especially if they have skin issues, like me. The before is without any makeup on, and you can clearly see the red spots from the rosacea. And this after is just one application of the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. You can't see any of the spots at all. Wow, so this is just after one application? Yes, incredible, right? You thought it would be a good idea to use yourself as the model? Yes, well, that is part of my mission. You see, the makeup industry uses these perfect Photoshop standards of what beauty should be, but that's not real. That makes girls feel insecure about themselves, like they're not beautiful enough because they don't look like this. So that's why I wanna use real girls with real skin problems as the face of our brand to not just change makeup, but to change how the world views beauty. That way every girl can feel like she is beautiful too. Because she is.
I'm gonna get you too. This is amazing. Thanks. Well, there's plenty more. <laughs> buy beauty products from someone who looks like you. Oh, well, yes, because I think women can relate. Oh. <laughs> I've seen enough. The truth is, makeup companies advertise with models who look like this because that is what sells. You may have a good product, but if you actually want to sell any of it, then I suggest you fall into line and do the same. But I really believe... Look, I don't make the rules. This is just the world in which we live. Have a nice day. Please open the door. It was so embarrassing. She was just sitting there laughing at me. You know, I tried my best to hold everything in, but I just wanted to explode. I'm really sorry you had to go through that. But that's just one person's opinion, that's all. No one else has even agreed to meet with us and we still don't have any sales. I don't know what to do. It's okay, honey. At least we tried our best, right? We tried our best? What are you talking about? We can't give up now? Look, this isn't easy for me either, all right? I always try to be strong for you, but everyone has already said no. Well, sometimes no just means not yet. We're going to figure this out. I know, but we also have to be realistic. We're almost completely out of money. We're not gonna be able to survive like this much longer. Look, maybe I can go back to my old job and you can go back to the TV station. What? After how that producer treated me? Absolutely not. <sighs> Look, no one said that this was going to be easy. It's not like we're just trying to sell makeup. We're not? No, we're trying to sell a vision. A vision of a new beauty industry that's different than the one now. So are you really surprised that someone in the beauty industry doesn't like our idea? I guess I never really thought about it like that. We have to keep going. We can't give up now. This is bigger than all of us. This is for all the women who have ever been told that they aren't beautiful enough. By the media, by society, or even by a boss. We can't let those women down now. Wait, what are you doing? I'm making us coffee. We have work to do. And that's the man I fell in love with. Jamie keeps trying to meet with different beauty retailers and department stores to get them interested in their product, but she keeps getting told no over and over again. But whenever she starts to feel discouraged, she remembers why she started in the first place and decides to keep going. Eventually, she meets with the TV shopping channel. After some consideration, Jamie's given the chance to sell her product on live television. She couldn't believe it.
remind me again how this works? We get 10 minutes in front of the cameras. That's it. If we don't sell at least 6,000 units in that time, we don't get invited back. And considering we spent our last dollar on inventory, we'll probably lose a house, if not starve to death too. But hey, no pressure. Jamie. Hi, I'm Katrina, the home shopping consultant. I don't work for the network, but I got tons of experience. Let's talk about the models you want to use. Oh, I brought my own. This is Gina and Susan. Sweetheart, those aren't models. But don't worry, I got you covered. Ladies? Now these are our models. Aren't they beautiful? You should use them. Trust me, you'll sell more, dear. What do you think, honey? I mean, she's helped a lot of people be successful here. I appreciate it, but we won't be needing them. And I'm actually going to use myself as a model, too. What? <laughs> you can't be serious. You? <laughs> a model? <laughs> no, no one's ever going to buy anything from someone who looks like you. No offense, but that's just the way of the world. Well, maybe you wouldn't bet on me. But sometimes in life, we have to bet on ourselves. Well, fine. What do I know? I've only been in the business for 15 years. Ladies. Okay. It's show time. You ready? I think so. Okay, and remember, 10 minutes, all you got. And if you don't sell out. If we don't sell out, I'm not coming back. I know. All right. Now I'm just checking one last time. Are you sure you don't want to use their models? I mean, the expert was really adamant. Maybe she's right. I mean, that's just the way the world works. Well, maybe it's time to change the world. Jamie goes in front of the cameras determined to sell out all of her products. When the timer begins, she shares her vision for a new type of beauty products made for everyday women. And then she does the bravest thing she's ever done before. She puts pictures of herself showing her bare skin and rosacea for over 100 million people to see. She has no idea if anyone's even going to call to buy her products. But then, a phone rings. And then another one rings. And then soon, all of the phones start ringing. Before the 10 minutes were up, she saw the two words that would change her life forever. That's it. We have completely sold out every shade in stock. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Amazing job. Is this me when I go on bankrupt? I sure hope so. Jamie gets invited to come back and keep selling her products. As time goes on, she returns to the show over and over again. Eventually, she becomes the number one top selling beauty brand on the entire network. After several years, her company It Cosmetics gets acquired by L'Oreal, making Jamie one of the richest self-made American women in the country. Jamie ends up becoming an inspirational speaker, touring all over the world and even launching her own best-selling book. But most importantly, she succeeds in her mission to change the world. 
Jamie? Oh my gosh, it's really you. Um, I just read your book. Would you mind signing it for me? Of course, of course. Who should I make it out to? Sandra. Thank you, by the way, for giving me a feeling I haven't felt before. Oh, wow. What feeling is that? Beautiful. You have rosacea. Yes. And all my life, I thought I wasn't pretty like the other girls I'd see with clear skin on TV. And then I saw your face on TV. And it looked like me. So thank you for making me and every girl feel like they're beautiful. You are beautiful. I want you to do something every single day, okay? When you look in the mirror, instead of seeing what's wrong, I want you to see what's right, which is everything. Ron, <laughs> hello, what are you doing here? Hello, Jamie. This is my granddaughter. She's a big fan. She buys all of your products. Look, I just wanted to say that I'm really sorry about how I treated you back then. I, I was wrong. Thank you. Not just for me, thank you for her. Honey, look who it is. Do you remember? She's the head buyer from... Yes, of course. Hi. Hello, Jamie. Congratulations on all your success. Listen, I was thinking we could distribute your products in our stores. What do you say? Sure, let's do it. Just like you said, sometimes no, just means not yet. Hey, Darman fam, I hope you love that message about, actually, I'm gonna let my good friend Jamie tell you about it. Uh, it's a message really all about learning to believe in yourself and trust yourself and go from doubting you're enough to knowing you're enough. And you know, even if you're in a, in a hard season right now of rejection that sometimes no just means not yet. Oh, uh, I love that. And you talk a lot about that in a book that you have coming out. Yes. How does everybody get a hold of this? All right, so it's called Believe It and it comes out February 23rd and uh, you can get it anywhere books are sold. And really, if you are someone that struggles with self-doubt, then Believe It is for you and um, it's also on believeit.com. Awesome, and guys, I've started reading this and cannot put it down. It's one of my all-time favorite books. You gotta get a copy. Thank you so much for watching and please remember, we're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey Darman fam, make sure to subscribe to my channels and check out this next video. I know you're gonna love it. Hi, welcome to Ashley's. We're not a plus size store. Can you show the big girl we're the nearest like plus size store? I'm so sorry about that. We'll be here if you need me. What do you think? They're a bit tight. Hey, watch it, Batty. I'm so sorry. I changed out of those jeans and leave.